You are listening to The Kentucky X-Files Season 3, with your hosts Dennis Mays, Tyler Stewart, and Josh Gibbs. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also visit us at www.kyxfiles.com. And now, on to our show. Kind of like that lag trick shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so funny, though. We've, we've come a far way. I mean, we, we've come a long way since then, I think. Man, I'm dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We probably, I mean, it's just... telling what. It's not telling what our military and government actually, you know, the, the technology, what they actually have that we don't know about. I think they just use a, they use a paywall, you know, like I know you can, you can get like crazy fast, just instantaneous internet right now, but it's crazy expensive. Yeah. 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 Nobody wants to pay it. But it's only expensive here. Yeah. Like other countries have got the craziest lightning fast internet. Yeah. They've had it for years. Right. But you get here and it's like, well, nah, too, too expensive guys. You can't, you ain't going to want it. <laughs> it's like back then they had the dial up modem, the DSL modems. Then there was T1 access, which everybody's on T1 access now. You know, but they had it. They literally had it. It was like, nah, it's too expensive. Yeah. I don't know. I'd never heard of that scenario before. I remember reading that though. Uh, when you sent it back, back, you know, well, it's, it's been months and months and months. And, uh, I remember reading that and going, holy shit, man. Like I've never heard of this. I've never heard of somebody popping a game in and then weird shit starting to happen afterwards. That's like, I mean, that's like straight out of a movie. Yeah, it's like Jumanji. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It is actually a movie. <laughs> it is a movie? It, yeah, Stay Alive. It's based around uh, based around a video game that kills everybody. Well, oh, it was a game on their phone, wasn't it? Uh, no, it was actually a PC game. And I, I'm sorry, I don't oh, mean okay, to freak yeah. you out. <laughs> yeah. No, I actually yeah. watched that. Yeah, it gave me chill yeah. bumps, too. I was like, yeah, it brings back old memories right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I can't figure out what the game was because I thought if we could figure out what the game was called, then maybe we could do a do a search and figure out if anybody else had anything weird like that happen. Yeah, I'm, I've been searching right. too. I've, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they only came out with a bajillion video games. You know, once they once they figured out they could do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You had multiple different companies springing up out of nowhere because they're like, "Shit, man, we could we could make it big. If we just make a game. Let's just make a fucking game." You know? But yeah, it is interesting, man. Do you guys ever get any Bigfoot stories down there where you're at? Uh, not really around here. You know, hell, that might have been a Bigfoot I was shooting at, though. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. like, I, I didn't see no prints or nothing like that, so I don't know. Yeah. Uh, when I was a little kid too, there's something in, there's just been something in these hills. And it's creepy as shit at nighttime in these hills anyway. But Yeah. Uh when I was a little kid, it was like Halloween. My sisters grabbed me and we started running up the holler to my aunt's house, you know. Yeah. And we could hear it running straight through the hills. I mean, they through the trees, the brawlers and everything, not like non stop. And at first we thought it was just somebody messing with us and then Till we heard it like turn shit out of hell running through the hills after us, you know. Yeah. And we got to our aunt's house. Uh, she prayed over us, and it's like it just left or something. It, you know, we didn't hear it no more. We walked back down the holler and got my candy, and I was happy. And we went home. <laughs> yeah. That just I don't know. It just weird shit. Like mom telling me, uh, my uncle Harold, he was trying to walk home from the holler here, and you know, drunk. And yeah. she said something got after him that night and scared him shitless. <laughs> no shit. So yeah, I've, I've had another guest. Uh, he, he messaged us uh, months and months ago and told us that uh, he had a story and he was in Eastern Kentucky and um, he had something run him and a buddy out, like out of the Hills. Something Damn. was after him. 
and uh, I wanted to hear what he had to say so bad, but we we never did. He never got back to us. We never heard nothing else. So it was like wow, I'd like to hear that too. <laughs> yeah. So hearing you say it, you know what I mean. It's it's pretty wild because it's not the first time, you know. Well, like a turkey creek, or people said that uh, you'll see a thing with red eyes and shit in the hills there. Yeah, and I was like, I bullshit, you know. And me and I mean, a buddy's walking down the road, going to his house, and I swear to God, we seen two red eyes and shit, and he just took off. We like, fuck that. <laughs> did, it, uh, did it make any sense? Does it make any sound? It's like, it sounded like it kind of growling to me, you know. That's why I was like, hell with that, you know. Yeah. But I mean, animals, their eyes glow too, but yeah. not really red, like a yellowish maybe or something. But I've never seen like a red glowing eye like that. Until that night, you know. Yeah, red red glowing eyes would be that'd be a a big fucking red flag for me. I'd be like, eh. <laughs> not today. Not today, Satan. I'm out of here. <laughs> right, yeah. Like twenty twenty years. I thought ago, they said it was right? or the demon or some shit. I'm like, yeah. What's that? Uh, about twenty years ago I heard a I heard a story about something that would chase you with, with red eyes and oh I've told it on the show here. It's I think it's part of first uh, season one, but uh, I had a, a guy who swore up and down he saw it, red glowing eyes, screams, you know, all this shit at you. Said it chased him and his brother, you know, all this, and um, he came to. to I, I talked him into coming and telling another buddy about it, you know, and we sat right there in my. We were I was still living at home with my with my parents and. Uh, he, we sat right there in my parents' front yard. It was late, you know. It was they were they were doing their own thing, and I said, "Hey, tell him tell him a story." And he tells the whole story to, to my other buddy, and out of nowhere, he's like, "I gotta go, man. I think it's here." And he gets up and just takes off. And Damn. Was a few minutes later, we we heard this crazy scream, and I mean, like less than say twenty five feet away, you know, just right on the other side of these dog kennels, and. uh as soon as I heard it, man, I just looked at my buddy and I mean, I could feel the hair and it's weird is it 20 years later, I can still feel the hair on the back of my neck trying to stand up. Mm. And, uh, I never saw it though. I never saw no red eyes. I never saw nothing, but I could hear it. I could hear it fucking running. And, uh, yeah, man, I don't know. I, that is the anchor I think that is the only anchor point that I have that stops me from being just a complete skeptic of everything. That is the one thing, you know, when it comes to that shit, you know, there's other stuff, man. Like, I mean, like I've said it before on the show, like you want to talk ghost and, and stuff like that, man, I'm, I'll listen all day. Like I, I, I don't personally have any reason to want to disprove ghost. If anything, to me, the mystery is long gone on that one. But these like cryptid, these un unexplained creatures, things like that, I'm interested because as much bullshit as I think is out there, you know, just just filling that fucking internet up with with just clickbait. Yeah, I know what the hell we heard that night. I know we heard something, and I'd never heard anything like it. You know, and it scared the absolute shit out of me. You know, so I don't know, man. When I hear stories, people are like, "Yeah, man, there's this thing with red eyes up here chasing you." I'm like, "That's cool. I'm not going anywhere near that garbage." <laughs> they're like every time, everything you said. I mean, that sounds like what happened up here in my holler here when that shit was chasing us. I mean, it was crashing through shit, it, and you could tell it had some weight or something to it. Oh, God, like it dude. Like it sounded like it was big going through the hill here. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, I remember hearing that. My buddy had a leg in a cast. He got hurt on a dirt bike at the time. So I remember jumping up and like grabbing him and yanking him up, dude. He's dragging a cooler behind him. Like, I'm not leaving the beer. <laughs> Priority. Like, I'm like, I, I'll, you can drag that thing with you or not. I don't give a fuck, dude. We're getting in the house, dude. Fuck this. That was shit was scary, man. <laughs> So I'm excited about this. We're going down to this Bigfoot thing uh, here in a week, and uh, I'm excited because I want to. I want to see if there's anybody out there that's gonna that'll have stories that 
you know, I, I'm looking for particular stories. You know, I want to hear, I want to hear about something that that's similar to what I what I heard, you know, or what I was told. You're up. So I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. Oh yeah. Uh, the Mike Valley School. I don't know if you guys know where that's at or not. Huh. In uh, Martin, Kentucky, here in Floyd County. Over there, around there, I don't know if uh, they done anything. I haven't been over there in a while. I mean, that buddy was over there. I had a 357 Magnum, uh, six inch barrel, you know, pearl handle grip, pretty good. Just shoot shit out of hell, jerked the AK out, and he jerked his SKS out. <laughs> and about when we started loading our, you know, second clip in the gun, uh, we started hearing whistling, like, uh, some song, some kind of song. And we're like, what the hell is that, dude? And like, is there somebody over here watching us in the woods or what? Yeah. And we walked so far, I mean, in the woods, and then we the whistling stopped, and we stumbled on two graves. One was a Civil War grave, and the other one was a Spanish-American War grave. Oh, shit. And I was like, dude, what in the hell is the quint- uh, coincidence of this shit right here? We're hearing whistling and shit. Yeah. And then we come over and find two fucking graves. I said, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. He said, well, <laughs> let's get our shit and go. I was like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we just uh, let them rest in peace. Let's go on. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those. Uh, yeah, I feel like I've had people who said <laughs> I've had people who are absolute skeptic of, of ghosts and things like that. But when something creepy happens, they're like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> and, you know, I, the reasoning i feel like the reasoning is sound I, I really do because i'm like well if you don't believe in this stuff what what's what's scaring you and they're like i'm willing to be wrong if i'm wrong i don't want to push my luck so i'm like i respect that i like that <laughs> like, right. yeah i don't <laughs> doubt that shit at all man i've seen too, too many weird things that i'm like and nowadays it's like i i when it, when it comes to like ghost ghost stuff, man, I don't even think it's like supernatural at all. Like I really don't. I, I honest to God think that that shit is just a part of of nature. It's just a part of the natural cycle of things. I don't even think it's. I don't think it's crazy out of the ordinary. I don't think it's mystical. I think it's literally just energy transference, man. It's just where energy's going from there. Cause I've seen some things, even living down here, man, I'm, I'm down in a holler. I'm down in a Valley, you know? And, uh, we have an old cemetery right up the road and it's, there's a great, great silent majority in that cemetery, you know? And I've been on my way home from, from this guy's house before. And, uh, I go pull around the corner and there's, there's one street lamp up there, you know, by the, by the old church and, I swear to you, man, it looked like there was something reflecting light, but not. And that part didn't get me because I'm like, hey, man, there's there's glares. What got me was the behavior. It looked like I just caught him. It, I, it looked like it did the, like, oh, shit. <laughs> Somebody, you know, like, oh, shit, somebody sees me. I better be real still. Cause I literally slowed my car down and I'm like, I slowed my car down and I'm creeping up to it and I'm like, okay, well it's not a glare because it's not moving. You know what I mean? My windshield's moving with my car. So if it's a glare, I'm going to see, you know, the, the yeah. effect of light moving. That shit was happening, but this was standing still. And I'm like, Damn. You know, like, okay. And I, I remember even jokingly saying, like, hey, don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm I'm passing through. Do your thing. I don't, you know, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> go, go do your thing. <laughs> and that was a few days later. My wife saw it in broad daylight. She saw something weird walking up into the up into the you know graveyard, just just light reflecting, you know. So I don't think it's just weird. That stuff, I'm like, yeah, man. You're like, dude, I saw this ghost. The spirit was in my house, man. He's grabbing my Cheerios out of my, you know, out of my cupboard and throwing them everywhere. I'm like, yeah, dude, I don't know, man. He fucking hates Cheerios. I don't, I don't, I don't got nothing. I don't, I don't know, dude. You know, maybe they're bad for you. Maybe they went bad and he's trying to help you. I, who knows? I can accept that all day long. 
you know, it's when it gets into the the weird creatures, though. I'm like, I'm a little bit more, eh, you know, let's yeah, I gripped it. Let's do some more digging, <laughs> you know, let's do some digging on this. Just like UFOs, man, you know, that shit's everywhere now. You know, and so, somebody made the point, like, hey, well, maybe it's because they're putting it out more. They're saying they're talking about it more. People are talking about it all the time now, man. Everybody wants to see a UFO. Everything's a UFO now. And I'm like, yeah, but you got to think, man, 20 years ago, if you talked about a UFO, man, you were, people were like, you're fucking crazy, dude. You're high as fuck. What are you, what are you talking about? Yeah, government show up and shit. <laughs> yeah. The government comes out and goes, yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we, we saw this is too. what you've seen. Okay. You didn't see yeah. this. This is what you've seen. <laughs> yeah. Well, the bad then, part is, is they're not even saying they're just like, yeah, we don't, <laughs> we don't know either. <laughs> there's a, there's a conspiracy theory going around called the big ugly. And when I first heard it, I thought that they might be talking about us here on the show, but turns out the big uglies is a conspiracy theory based on uh, kind of kind of your new world order kind of shit, like a, uh, a form of control. Not unlike recent events. What are you going to demonetize us for that? I didn't even say it. So they basically, what they do is they, to get, to get the ball rolling, to get people back into the scare factor, they start releasing more and more and more of this, this stuff. All right. There's a couple people out there that claim that a big alien revelation is coming soon. And they will use that to cause fear and cause, you know, basically a mad rush on, on stores again, like the toilet paper apocalypse. I'm looking at you. Yeah. The Y2K out. shit. <laughs> yeah. Y2K, all that stuff. Every so often we have to have an emergency just to kind of make sure everybody knows where they stand, you know? Yeah. And it's, I think I've heard the same thing. It was like the UFO red flag or something. Yeah. Or something. It's like to ch like the reason why we're seeing so many is to they're trying to as as something create panic. Uh, yeah. God, I, can't talk. I can't talk. Yeah, they're they're trying to. It, well, that's the theory anyway. I don't I don't know. I don't I can't lend any credence to it because I don't I don't have no idea, man. I mean, I'm, I'm such a, what do you call it about conspiracy theories? People tell me the craziest shit, and I'm like, I don't know. I mean, it, maybe. You know, I don't, I don't have no idea. <laughs> I mean, weirder shit's happened. I mean, imagine, a, imagine like, a, a country getting locked down, you know, out of nowhere over, <clears throat> over some, you know, over something <clears throat> Like you know, like I don't know, like the flu or something. It's, it's just read, some, uh, some kind of like out out of their concept. I read something the other day that was talking about how by around twenty twenty eight we're going to be completely out of conspiracy theories because they've all come true. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's going to be a shortage. We're going to have to come up with some new ones. Mm -hmm. Daniel, you shortage. missed it. Uh, oh, dude, I could do a weather conspiracy. <laughs> I'm actually I'm gonna become a weatherman, Daniel. You you missed it. You missed it earlier. All right. <laughs> At the beginning of this episode, I, I did my first weather report. Not, not trying to brag, but pretty much one hundred percent accurate. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's good for a weatherman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I mean I basically I can predict your weather where you're at right now. 50 50. 50. Could rain, might not. So you have to let me know later if, uh, if anything happens, you know. I think he froze up there. There he did. There we go. Probably Yeah, I did a little bit there. We're back. He couldn't couldn't believe yeah, I should get his, back a little bit getting my wife out of there. <laughs> his camera froze up because he couldn't pay, believe uh, the accuracy. hundred and something a month for Wi Fi and he can't even sit on the damn porch. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, what what is with that bullshit too? How they got the internet like now? It's kind of like a damn phone plan. You get so many gigabytes of data for downloading shit, but then when you run out of the gigabytes, then like your downloads are slow, and then they charge you fucking more for it. Oh, yeah. It's like a big scam, you know what I mean? Hold on, just a second. Yeah. This is uh, 
This is the cult culture right. that we bought. Yeah. You know? We bought and paid paid for a, an economic based country, you know. So I mean, everything's a business now. You know what I mean? Right. Everything's it is. A business. Everything, you know. I mean, think back in the day, you know, you, you got your phone, you dial you dial nine one one, you get a person. You dial the operator, you get a person. There's a guy or a, or a lady on the other end of there, you know, operator, can I help you? Yeah, I'm trying to find a number for, you know, uh, Walgreens. Got to pick up my ass cream. Got a rash, something bad, you know, and she'd be like, oh, you know, and then you'd have a conversation. She'd tell you, well, you know, my husband is <laughs> similar to that, and he uh, he used this, and it, it might work out for you. There's a person. Now you call and you get a robot. Yeah. And by the time I hate to say it, but by the time you get to a person, they ain't they ain't gonna know what cream to get at Walgreens. They're not even living here in the country, right? You know, this is the this is the like, country we bought and paid for. Like we're <laughs> we well, love it. Like uh, around here, uh, the nine one one now goes to uh, city police. And now you actually got to dial the number for the Floyd County Sheriff's Department or the state police now. The 911 don't even go to them now. Damn, they outsource theirs too. I mean, it's it got it's bad. There's a uh, I mean, there, there's a poor girl that got killed down here. And the 911 call or something or uh, or something about it like I guess they didn't take it seriously or yeah. The people on the phone that was calling said never mind or something like that. But I'm pretty sure when you dial nine one one, it don't matter what it is, they always send a patrol car out to make sure you're okay. Yeah. Most yeah, of the time. A, they're supposed to do a wellness check, yeah. Yeah. Well that, that didn't happen and this poor girl got killed. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I mean I know up here if you accidentally dial it, they'll show up. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pop right in. Yeah. Hey, you good in there? Yeah. You know? Everything uh, all right? Well, usually like the state police, man, like it didn't matter what it was. They'd be like, bam, right here. You know? Yeah. That's, I mean, you know, that's a whole, that's a whole other can of worms right there. You know what I mean? I, I'm, yeah. These, the, the same, I mean, let, I don't know how to say it without, without, you, you know, fucking YouTube having a, a conniption fit, but it's, <laughs> it's like, Hey, you know, the same people you depend on, for help, you kind of been dragging them through the mud a little bit. You know what I mean? You kind of lump lumping yeah. people into a big group and calling them all bad. You know, it's kind of not not right. That's kind of the shit we're we're trying not to do anymore, unless it's you know, unless it's the the YouTube police, then they just kind of choose what you're allowed to say or not. <clears throat> Sorry, there's a conspiracy for us. Yeah. yeah, I don't think that's a conspiracy. That's, that's yeah, well known. If it's a fact, and I guess it's not a conspiracy anymore, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, guys. It's it's pretty wild. Uh, I just seen it here where the the GOP, those re reliable old fucking dinosaurs, are uh, they're trying to push another UFO hearing because apparently they didn't hear enough about it last time. I don't understand what is the point. All right. They want to bring in all, they want to bring in more people. Uh, what is it here? The, the Tennessee uh, representative here, uh, Tim Bur Burkett. Am I saying that right? Burkett. His official quote was, this is about aliens. People need to know. People deserve to know. Okay. What are you presenting to us about aliens? Because I've tried to watch these hearings. It's like watching paint dry. <laughs> but not as exciting. I, yeah, I was about to say, I'd rather watch uh, paint dry. Because you watch paint dry, you go like, man, that's going to look fucking good when that's done, man. When that dries, woo, <laughs> my living room's going to pop. Watching these guys, though, they're up there like... So then it flew through the air 
at rates that we cannot fly. And you're sitting there kind of like, yeah, dad, you told us, you know, we know, but what is it? What is it? You know, they have, you know, they have surveillance, you know, that they've zoomed in and seen these things, you know, what did they see? None of that's ever going to come to light. We'll never hear that part. You know, they zoom all the way in with their high tech spy shit. They can see, they can literally look at your driver's license in your wallet. If you're holding it in your hand from a satellite. Yeah, it's nothing. Right. And they can't figure out what these things are. They can't zoom into it. Yeah. They They can't find a cure for cancer, but they get, they get all this shit. Yeah. They get all the way up and they zoom all the way in. And there's a little window on this ship and there's a little alien and he's like. (laughs) 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 Yeah. It's more along the lines of say you just wish that they would find like government will finally like just like you just like go up to them like just say you don't know. (laughs) Just say you don't know. Stop acting like you know. Say like, it, it's terrible. Like, come on. Like, it, it, just because you're saying like, oh yeah, we know about them. It's like doesn't mean that you know everything about them. It's like, yep. come on. Like, Jesus Christ. Over on the uh, Project Unity YouTube page, uh, there's a big time UFO hunter Ross. Uh, what is, I, I don't know if how to pronounce his last name right. Uh, Coolthart or Coolthart. But he seems to claim that there is a gigantic non-human ship being stored. And apparently it's too big for us to move. And I think that's really interesting, but part of me is kind of like they built a building around it because they couldn't hide it. Nobody (laughs) saw that beforehand. You know, if I'm on my way to work, I probably killed them or paid them off. You know, (laughs) if I was on my way to work, man, and I saw like a giant alien ship sitting next to Walmart, (laughs) I'm probably going to be driving like. (laughs) I wonder wonder what kind of deals they have on that (laughs) giant ship at Walmart. A rollback. I better get get going. Yeah. Do you still do the rollback? I, I don't. Was the yeah. was the smiley face actually a thing, or was I just thinking that? No, that's a thing. Okay, I just want to make sure because I remember yeah. uh, I commercials remember that of too. that. Of course, so. it could be the Mandela effect. Yeah, I was gonna say we we never. I don't even know. Yeah. Like, I don't even know who I am anymore because of the fucking Mandela effect. Yeah. Never was it. Whoever whoever coined the Mandela effect. Oh God, I'm so pissed at you, right? Because I'm questioning my whole life. I don't even know who I am anymore. Well, that uh, that will go against what uh, Gibbs was saying about like what you say in tw- uh, 2080 will be out of conspiracy, but the Mandela effect I will feel like will still be in effect. Well, yeah. every time you'll like think of something like, did I really think of that? I think the Mandela effect is actually like it's like a like a little cup, you know, the little cups full of dice where you shake them and you dump it. That's all Yahtzee? of the things we thought we knew. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> all, of the, all of like our, our things we know for sure we grew up seeing are written in there and they, they take it and then every so many years they're like, hey, turn on that fucking collider and it turns it on and it just sits there and it shakes that and it dumps it out and it's all new shit. Yeah, well, I mean, this, my, my statement still rings true. You know, because it, what if we find out that the Mandela effect is a real thing and the conspiracy is true? Okay. Like, I seen one the other day and it was, it blew my mind. It was the Fruit of the Loom logo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's that thing in the back of it? Cornucopia. Yeah. Yeah. There was never a corn, there was never a cornucopia. No, there's, I, yeah, I still think that's bullshit, man. I went to the Fruit of the Looms website and I went through like their history and I went to other places and found like the history of all of their logos and never once did they have a cornucopia. I remember a cornucopia. I remember a cornucopia. Clearly. Clearly. Yeah. Because all the, the fruits was in it. Yeah. yeah. I remember looking at that and being like, man, people just kept their fruits in one of these. 
and they just randomly dumped them out in places. <clears throat> right. What about you, Daniel? Do you remember that? The uh, I'll see if I can pull the logo and put it on here. I don't know if people will, he'll be able to see it, right? Remember what? The uh, Fruit of the Loom logos. But Oh yeah, the fruit thing. Yeah, I remember that. You made like a fruit basket. Yeah, that never, wasn't, yeah. wasn't in it, but we it all was never there. It. It's just fruit. <laughs> yeah, I I remember seeing it. I remember even like looking at it. Like, how do you say that again? Like cornucopia. 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 Yeah, I even remember asking my mom what it was called when I was little. I know I saw that. <laughs> yeah, I got a, uh, I got uh, another one there that mom told me, but uh, it's about my papa. But uh, I never did get to meet my papa. He died before I was born. Yeah, but, uh, but he never did believe in ghosts or you know spirits, nothing like it. Maybe demons and shit, because where they was all regular Baptist. But uh, mom said they was in Knox County, and. They instead of horses, they rode on mules. You know, Papa yeah. said that you know a mule's smarter than a horse. But uh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> but uh, Mom is talking about. You want to tell him? Who you talking to? Uh, Kentucky. Hi, we're the Kentucky X Files. That's, that's my mom. You want to tell him about Papa? That ghost story. Kentucky what? X Files. Oh no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> the one when he's driving down on, on the mule, you said. Definitely the reaction. Oh, Hollybush. Okay. Hollybush, Knox County. He said it was in Hollybush, up Knox County. By Pippa Passes, by the Alice Floyd. Pippa Passes, she said, by Alice Floyd College up there. But anyway, up in that holler, there was a train track, and they were driving their mules down. And how'd it go, Mom? There wasn't a train track, it was just was a it, road. Oh, it was just a road. Back in the early 1900s, they were delivering the uh, mail. Yeah. You tell them, and they were delivering okay. mail. Well, they were delivering the mail. On horseback. On, they were on mules, honey. Or horseback. Mules or horseback, he said. I think okay. Papa's on a mule. His older brother said. His older brother said. There's this man up here. There's a man up there. When you get to a certain spot, be standing there. he'll be standing there. And he doesn't have a head, so don't. And he won't him. have a head, and he said, "Don't talk to him." <laughs> just keep on, just keep on riding. Just keep on riding. So, when they got up through there, Dad said, "Why well, he didn't think nothing else about so, it?" So when they got up through there, she said that the Papa didn't think nothing else about it, you know. And he stopped and he said, "Well, hello, Mister. How are you this evening?" And she said uh, that Papa stopped, said, "Hello, sir. How are you doing this evening?" And he said. Well, he said his brother William just kept on riding just as hard as he could go. She <laughs> said that uh, <laughs> Papa's brother just took off on his horse and left Papa back there. <laughs> and he said, well, I looked again. He said he didn't have a head, and I realized what William had told me. <laughs> she said that Papa looked over there and said it. he seen the guy with no head, and he said <laughs> he realized, what he realized he that what he told him, his brother told him. <laughs> and then he took off. <laughs> I don't blame him. Wow, that's a hell of a that's a hell of a story. Holy crap! <laughs> Never had anything like that happen to me. I'll, I'll admit that. Oh wow, that's pretty yeah, awesome. That's crazy. So that that was well, back here on uh, that strip job. I was telling you about. We're not saying that if a UFO or whatever. They got a bunch of cemeteries up there, and. Me and two buddies would go up there about every weekend and camp out. Well, we'd get away from our parents to go drink is what we do. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, I don't know what it was. They stopped there to piss or something. But there's one grave on up the road, and we didn't even know what was there. And honest to God, there's a guy, a full figure black shadow guy, that just kind of steps out like this. Like he's stepping around the Looking bushes and the weeds there, and just yeah. looking at us. I mean, I could see a leg, head, you know, I mean, everything, but it's like, totally black. Wow. And I was like, holy shit, guys. I said, uh, there's somebody up there. And we went up there. Uh, look, I mean, there wasn't nobody there, you know. Yeah. 
Mm. I mean, uh, my baby picked up rocks, threw through the bushes and shit. Come on out, pussy. And I was like, dude, it's not a real person. That's what I'm trying to tell you, dude. It's a black fucking shadow. It's just gone now. <laughs> always got to have that one friend, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's always that one friend in the group that's like, fuck it, I'm going to throw a rock at it. <laughs> yeah, there's always that one friend that's actually, like, if it's actually a seriously, like, supernatural thing, he's going to get you killed because he's, <laughs> he's so cocky. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, yeah, that's Denny. It's definitely Denny. Hey, I, I don't just, feel like I'm cocky. I, I got, the only thing is, I just like, got to run faster you know. than them two. <laughs> he I said that to a, me. He has yeah. said that to me. He okay, said he yeah, stabbed me in the got knee. Me painted into a corner here a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I didn't think it was because I was cocky. Though. I thought it was more like I'm kind of drawn to chaos a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I can't help myself. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's a problem. You know, I'm working. I'm working on it. That's why I'm going to get my uh, my philosophy degree so I can become a weatherman so I can work on myself while I'm working on the weather. You know, it's gonna be good. it's gonna be a good time. But hey, Daniel, you know what, man? We're going to let you let you go. I do appreciate right, buddy. you coming on here with, with us, man. And uh, Was that mom that, that came out and talked to us before? Yeah, yeah, it was my mom. Well, you tell her <laughs> we appreciate her being on, too. That's pretty awesome. All right, uh, man. Thank dude, you, guys. We appreciate you, man. Thanks for listening, man. I appreciate you, you know, supporting our show and helping us out and being on here and bullshitting with us, man. I love it. All right, man. There we go. You guys are awesome. Thanks. Hell, you, you enjoy the rest of your uh, either sunny or rainy day. <laughs> yeah, it's 50-50. I think it's getting really rain rain, though. Oh, you got dark. that about right. The clouds are getting yeah. dark. There That's that other 50% we were talking about there. They, they, yeah. It's yeah. going be rain, but I don't know. Well, I appreciate that you. Way it, that way it's blue, and that way it's yeah. <laughs> dark. It's 50-50. <laughs> Love it, man. Yeah, yeah, you make a good weather, man. Dude. <laughs> hey. Thanks, buddy. All right. <laughs> you have a great rest of your day, man. And uh, keep listening and stay in contact. Right, with us. You know, if anything weird happens, hit us up. Yeah, yeah, I will. All right, buddy. We'll see you. I think we'll. We, we, there he is. See you later, Not man. Further. Thank you, guys. See you, dude. Nah, I did. I, that's awesome, man. Like, yeah. I loved it that mom came out. Yeah, and I love that yeah. she totally shot us down. She's like, no, I don't <laughs> yeah. want to. I don't want to tell him. I don't want to talk to them assholes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was it, fantastic. Man. See, you could you could give me you could give me a, a, a list of all the biggest names out there, and I'm still gonna rather want to talk to Daniel and Daniel's mom. Fine woman, you know. I love it, man. You guys out there listening, you know, you can literally talk to us whenever you want. Yeah. I mean, I can't say whenever you want, but you know what I mean. Like, we record certain days. If you want to talk to us, hit us up. Get us get on our Facebook. And I got something even cooler to tell you about. On that old website of ours, there is a guest intake form. That is currently being tested. It might I might even be able to add it on there today. You can literally fill it out and it'll give you Sunday mornings that you can book with us. And if you book it, we can approve it. And what do you know? Sunday morning you'll get you a good little invite to join right now and talk to us right here. Talk about some weird stuff with us. It'll be a lot of fun. We always have a good laugh. Sometimes we learn some shit that we didn't know about, like grandpa talking to the headless horseman. That's pretty fucking wild. I yeah. didn't expect that. That was, that was like, as soon as he said it, man, I'm like, what? <laughs> like, holy shit. I thought my stories were weird. That was pretty cool, though. The, the fact that his brother just was just booking ass. Yeah, yeah oh, he's like, nope. Nope. He just noped right the See? fuck out of there. It was great. Like, that's the, like, that's the thing. Like, everybody says, like, our uh, fight or flight most of us like that's how we survived that's how evolution we we pers like we kept going it's because things like that we were like no no going that way mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> it's like yeah 
If it gives me chills, I'm going that way, not towards it. Dude, yeah. I'm telling you, man, like you're, you're, I think you're dead on because like I said before, it's like we, we went off for our whole prehistory was us trusting the hair sticking up on the back of our neck. Like, man, something's about to eat me. I got to get the fuck out of here, you know? And then somewhere along the line, somebody gave us a pen and we started writing shit and we're like, oh, they were fucking smart as hell, dude. I don't believe in that out there because I can write, you know, I can do long division. I can do long You know what I mean? Like, we were like, we have logic, dude. Fuck all that instinct shit. We don't need any of that. That's bullshit. That's fake. That's fake. The world's flat. God damn it. And then somebody came along and was like, well, I don't know if it is. Eh, might not be. You know? I just think we should we should respect our instincts, you know? Like if you if you're out in the woods listening to this show, which I don't know why you would be listening to this show out in the middle of the woods by yourself, that's that's your first fucking red flag right there. But if you are, and while you're listening to this, you just get this creeping feeling, this pressure, this this like I'm freaked out, man. My hair's sticking up. First off, finish listening to the episode because, you know, that's we're, that's how we monetize the show. You know what I mean? But then while you're listening, go ahead and take yourself somewhere safer. Okay? Yeah. Because you think, I don't want anything bad to happen to you. You won't be able to listen to next week's show if something bad happens to you. You know? You're going to want to know what happened. Right? Right. I'm just saying, trust your instincts. Trust them instincts and stay alive. Stay good. I'd, I'd put my instincts as, as my number one, you know, I trust that trust my gut feeling before I trust anything else. I, I still, to this day loved like when we had this like connection to that, when we were delivering packages for Amazon and that day I told you that I fell through that porch. I even told myself, I was like, dude, I like, I'm going to sit it like at the steps of the porch I had a feeling that I didn't want to go on, go to the, to the door itself. Yeah. I wanted to sit the package on there, but I was like, ah, I feel, I feel like a dick. If it, what if happens if it rains, ah, I'm going to go See, up on the that's porch. That's where logic started. Gotcha. Right there. Yeah. As soon as logic gets involved. Yeah. <laughs> survivability then, goes way down. I'm just saying I got the package to the door because I fell through and it, I, I chucked it. Don't worry, people. It was a bed. I didn't break anything other than the porch. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he tells a story, all I think of is that, that movie from the 80s, uh, Money Pit with Tom Hanks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when he's just dangling yeah. through the ceiling. That's, that's, that's what I picture every time. Apparently, on his way down through the porch, he threw the package and saved the package. You know, that's just that's just ethic right there. That's just that's just work ethic. It's like, well, package has got to be delivered. You don't know what could have been under there. They could have like had a spiked pit down there. Yeah, because you know them random under porch <laughs> spike pits. You never know where they're going to pop up. It could have been like a, a spider hole to catch Tyler's. What if it was just nothing but spiders down there? <laughs> and we lost him. <laughs> you guys, uh, what was the thing we were, uh, the, there was like another piece of news we, we were talking about earlier. The guy with the house full of bones. Yeah. We didn't bring it up. We should have brought it up to Daniel. I, I didn't even think of it. Dude, did you guys, did you guys read more into it? Cause I did. A little no, bit, yeah. I don't, I don't think was that in the private chat because I only yeah. see the two. I only see the two. No, I didn't send it in the private chat. I yeah. just sent those links. I do have that fellow right here, though. This is uh, James Knott. That is our culprit. Not James. Yeah, not James. Not James. And, and uh, when the police knocked on the door, the FBI rather knocked on the door and asked them if there was anybody else living in the house. He said, "Just a bunch of my dead friends." Yeah. Just a bunch of my dead friends. Yep. Kind of like the burbs. Uh, fucking weird. Yeah. 
Dude, the burbs, yeah. Oh, we're going back. Was this a Tom Hanks episode? This is a Tom Hanks episode. Tom Hanks is with us. <clears throat> yeah, this today. is deep. This is deep. Apparently, <laughs> that, it goes Hanks. all the way into like um, Harvard and their, yeah. their medical cadavers. Um, the guy had spinal cords, hip bones, skulls. Apparently, there's one that was even dressed. A skull was dressed with a head scarf, and yeah, yeah. They uh, from what I when I researched was that there's a whole group of them. They uh, they use <laughs> Facebook Market to sell human remains. <laughs> yeah, and hey, okay, you can find everything on the yard in the yard sales. I mean, I tell you what, I'm not even joking. I've seen people trying to sell like Xanax and Percocets on Marcus Place. I've seen. I it. actually have a piece of evidence to submit to you guys that that lends a lot of credence to this. Uh, I'm I'm actually grabbing it real quick here. I was flipping around Facebook Market yesterday, and I found an interesting uh, item for sale. And I, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, I totally believe that people are on there selling body parts to each other. This is what I saw. Check this out. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you can, <laughs> you can save if you, if you pick it up, you can save a little bit. It's only 75 <clears throat> bucks. I'm, you know, a for effort? Yeah. Is that what the big uh, A is right there? A for effort, six and a half inch high, plus four inch sword, seven inch wide. So this mm. this little fellow is wider than he is tall. Yeah. Um, wire, I think sculpture should be in quotation marks. Yeah. It's a very yeah. loose interpretation of the word sculpture. <laughs> Right. I found that and I saved a, a screenshot of it because I was like, dude, you know, there's people selling body parts. If there's, yeah. a, if there's somebody out there right now selling that as a sculpture, I can, uh, I can accept it. I can accept it. You know? Yeah. I even, I saw the actual um, screenshots of the bones for sale on Marketplace. Really? Yeah. I was trying to save it, but I could not because it was a, um, a web file, not a um, oh, JPEG. Yeah, should have done yeah. a screenshot. Yeah. yeah, let's see if I can. That's such um, a pain in the ass, though. Yeah, it really is. Let's see if I can find that's the, the worst. It's the it is, worst. It's just the worst. The worst. The worst. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's just do this. Um, if I get rid of the ads, we don't want that. What is this? Plus, oh, okay, here we go. Uh, present, I'm going to put it on here. And share screen. Come on. Come on, there we go. I am a tech wizard. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> You're a hacker. It's going slow. I am, I'm in. <laughs> is that William Burke, is that, the, is that the skull or is that the guy selling? I think that's one of the guys selling. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, so there's that one and then uh this wow. right here. Yeah. It says edit, the pelvis is sold. Uh, just... but but this is a thing too. It's like but if they came around this maliciously, like they actually either the, a the person died in their house and they never told anybody, that's different, but people do get these like Especially medical, uh, medical like skeletons that they, yeah, like for the longest time, that's what you would have in a classroom. That was a real person until they started to do plastic, yeah. like plastic molds and stuff of that nature. But for the yeah, most there part, was there's like, actually, actually, there's a real, legal, there's a legal ramification though. Like those were cadavers that were donated to science, you know, yeah. and these are meant for medical study, not, you know, sold on a fucking social media marketplace for home decor. You know? <laughs> yeah. I, I get that, but that's like that. I, I'm pretty sure you're allowed to do that. If you didn't come by it. Honestly, 
yeah, you yeah, you came I by. I wish you would have said that like uh like Forrester from True Grit. Long as you came by him honestly. <laughs> there was a um thing that happened in his teeth. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> there, there was one an instance where this happened, I believe it was at Disney. I'm not sure which one, uh Florida or California. But the uh was it Pirates of the Caribbean? One of the corpses on the wall that was used for decor was yeah. actually the corpse of a murderer and it was real human remains. What? Yeah. That's okay. awesome. I mean, okay, this that's oh, kind of I'm going to see if I can find the That's kind of horse shit. So oh, you're shit. telling me that fucking Johnny Depp got kicked off of like a lot of Disney movies <laughs> because of the bullshit with Amber Heard and they're fucking putting real dead bodies on their fucking movies? No, not in the movie. It was on the ride. The ride? <laughs> the ride? What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. There's children. Yeah. And if you look to the right, you will see uh, <laughs> the corpse of a uh, serial murderer, kids. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Uh -huh. I want to be a murderer when I grow up. No, 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 you don't. No, 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 it wasn't. Okay. I feel like there was a there was a Disney <laughs> hook that. Okay. Well, I'm yeah. I'm I'm still maybe it's hey, 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 but hey, I remember I remember, I remember like, there being sure. a Disney issue. So yeah. Elmer McCurdy uh, in 1976, a hanging man prop used for a fun house was discovered to be a real human corpse. Uh, it was the hanging corpse of <laughs> Elmer McCurdy, an outlaw who died in a gunfight with police 65 years before being found in the fun house. I can only imagine the story of how that ended up there. I, I'm just I, yeah. like, what gets me the most? Does people literally just want their house haunted? That's, like, I was going to say that. Like they you really, like, house, come on. Like, get one. Well, I, I'm not wrong. Okay. So there's, this is actually a release from Disney that says there are no longer any real human remains on the ride for Pirates of the Caribbean. The once upon a time, they were real skeletons. It's like, dude, come on! Like, so I had, you're I had just two stories. asking for this shit, man. Yeah, you want to have a haunted house? Because that's how you have a haunted house. Yeah, yeah. You and want the walls to bleed? Yeah, that's how you get it. You know, I have a sneaking suspicion that our our silent majority that's that's out there in in our graveyards and and places don't want their remains messed with. Yeah. You know? I told you my thing. Like, if I when I pass away, put you out with the garbage. Yeah, put me out with the garbage. I, to be perfectly honest. I don't care. I'm dead. That poor garbage man. It's like that. What, what's that movie with uh, Emilio Estevez and Charlie Sheen when they find the the dead yeah. man? Men at work. And yeah, men at work. Yeah, they found the dead man in the garbage. Okay, Ty, I, here's one thing that I'm going to bring up about your scenario of your burial, okay? Okay. If I want to get a fucking couch taken, I have to call them and let them know there's going to be a couch taken so they can spend send a special truck with a crew of more than one guy. You just got to wrap me. Like, remember, you got to wrap it. Yeah, no, it's, that's not the part. I understand the principle here. I get that. You're not exactly light as a feather, buddy. You'll okay. be stiff as a board. You're going to be stiff as a fucking board. And you're going to be laying there. And you're not a you're not a little dude. Okay? So you can't just spring a Tyler on the garbage man. That's fucked up. You know? He's going to get there and be like, what the fuck, dude? How am I supposed to get this dude into the garbage truck? Why did they throw this guy away? <laughs> they got the thing on the side to pick up cans with. It's got the little claw. <laughs> it's going to look like a fucking claw machine. <laughs> Just make sure you, before you go, fill all your pockets full of change so it's more fun for them. So when it starts shaking you, they're like, yay! Make it <laughs> <Or reach."> candy. <laughs> have candy in my pockets. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need. Dead man candy. <laughs> yay! 
Yeah. Ooh, licorice. How do we get yeah. down the street like the ice cream man just shaking candy out for the kids? He <laughs> just the arm's stuck and just keeps doing that. It won't let him go. It's like it just it's hooked in his belt loops or something. Is he's just driving down the it, road? No, it just shit. no, it just keeps hitting me on the side like bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Let's hope you're actually gone and not just drunk, and that's just where you you fucking passed out. I just got beat up by the garbage guy. Did you see the video of the woman that was sitting on a park bench? That one of those dump those garbage trucks, the claw machine, grabbed the park bench with the garbage can and flung her. No. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it's terrible. out there. It's out there. <laughs> All right. I think we should wrap this up, guys. Uh, Agreed. <laughs> this next uh this week should be good you guys you guys probably got both your episodes this week but uh monday is going to be a little different because we're probably going to have to record one while we're down there at the big foos convention which if you're around on saturday you should be able to come and hang out apparently we're going to be on vip row you might uh, want to hey because you know people listen to this at not in order sometimes you might want to say the date Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it what, is is, what is the date on it? Tyler? July twenty second. Yeah, it's the twenty second. We'll be there for most of the day. Uh, what are the hours of the show? I think it's going on like all day. I think it's uh, it starts uh, doors open at nine, and I think it ends at seven. It is it an outdoor event or an indoor event? Indoor. In big old conference. Big old conference. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it's what the heck's it called? I uh, Gatlinburg Convention Center. Yeah. Yeah. So you were sounding like professionals now. Boys. Oh God! For yeah. first we're doing weather reports. Now we're all accurate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I won't be able to make this event, but the boys here are. Yeah, we'll be down there. You get to see. Uh, you get to see us uh, wandering around. We'll have our. We'll have our shit too. We'll have our uh, recorder. We'll have cameras. So if you see us, if you know us, come on up to us. Talk to us. You know, it's gonna be fun. Otherwise, we're going to be walking around asking people random questions about Bigfoot. And uh, it's going to be a good time, man. We got invited down there from uh, Big Brian at Sasquatch Odyssey, Paranormal World Productions. I think he'll be down there. Let's see. We got Paranormal Odyssey, Wayne. He'll be down there. Big the Wayne. I think the guys from uh, the Basement Hangout. Basement Hangout will be there. Um I know. Um, I think Weird Encounters, uh, the other... Uh, yeah, they'll be uh, there. Front. Yeah. What's the other? Monsters Among Us is going to be there? I think so, yeah. Not to mention there's going to be some Finding Bigfoot people from the show is going to be there, um, which will be kind of cool because we'll be, we'll be, we're going to be right in there with them, which is awesome. I will, be, um, I will be smoozing my way through that crowd and trying to get as much audio as possible and video if we can do it. <laughs> Hopefully they don't have some some bullshit uh, GoPro rule or something because I'm looking I'm looking out the the everyday working man should be represented here at this thing so yeah Tyler your mustache is looking upstanding what's going on here that's Oops. you should be wearing it like that all the time what absolutely what are you doing? that's debonair's shit that is you look like a Spanish <clears throat> conquistador 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 <laughs> Oh, I had a pipe. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna pull out a like a fencing sword. <laughs> yeah, it was about a rapier. <laughs> <laughs> you killed my teacher. I think it's. I think it might be a different different movie. I don't know. But anyway, you guys out there, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Trust your instincts, and uh, beware of any video games from the early 2000s. Just in general. Just in general, really, because they're all pretty bad. Yeah. And do I I highly say do not put real remains in your fucking house. Yeah, I mean that's just messed up. What what the fuck are you thinking? There's you so many I mean? good do fakes that. out there, you know. Yeah. Coyote Pearson has a Bigfoot fake. Yeah. If he can get that, we can get anything. He even like uh what's the word I'm looking for here? Um not antiqued it, um, relict it. He relict yeah, it, like aged you know. it or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you relict it and, and tried to sell it to the world as a real thing. Yeah, his reactions in the video were kind of wild too. Because for for a minute, I almost I almost thought that it was somebody in his crew 
doing it to him. Right. You know, and he, you know, was able to try to play it off. Like that's what yeah. happened there for a minute. But I mean, yeah. Horseshit. It's like, we know, we know yep. what you're up to. You son of a bitch. It Go got get his name in the media. Up. It got him ratings. Yeah, it did. Click clicks. That's it. Mm-hmm. Clicky clicks. Clicky clicks. On top of that. Go subscribe. subscribe. We need to re- update that because those subscribers have changed. Yeah. Ah. I, I, I know we need to really, like do that, but no matter what, it still gives you what you need to go to to like and subscribe. Yeah. Um. Anything? I think I can't think of like, nothing else. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll throw this up just just real quick. Where the heck is it? I had it. Like Denny said, you either can go to our email, send what you guys have, or you can go to our website. You can leave us a voicemail. Yep. Or uh, whenever Denny gets the whole guest thing. Uh. I'm going to check on that after we're done here. And for those of the, those of the listening community that are not watching us oh, be handsome bad. with the link, it's encounters at kyxfiles.com or www.kyxfiles.com. God, we're so good at this now. God, you're just like, dude, his voice was Jesus. so good. Oh, God. I want to go to the website now. I, I want <laughs> to send an email. An email. I'm, I'm going to email us. I'm already there. So yeah, I understand. <laughs> I want to email us. I'm gonna send us. I'm gonna send us some stalkerish stuff. I'm watching us. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we'll see you guys out there. Hopefully, we'll see Mwah. you at the convention. See Mwah. you. Guys. Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. Tyler's gonna be handing out kisses at the convention. He will be. There's yeah. gonna be a Tyler kissing booth. Yep. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> like Tyler, no tongue, no, no tongue. tongue. Oh, that's my bad. That's my bad. Sorry. <laughs> you just push, push my tongue back <laughs> in my mouth like. Ow, ow. Sorry, Ew. you know. Very you see Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> Your hands are cut like orange. Yeah. 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 yeah.